Yeah, with gratitude, I welcome you all to Diné territory. Thank you for your work and hearts that brought you here today to meet and discuss solutions on how to slay monsters roaming the earth. In July of 1979, almost 11 million gallons of radioactive waste gushed out from a breached uranium, uranium tailings pond in Church Rock, New Mexico located 30 miles southwest of here. The toxic sludge poured into the Rio Perco River system, which news reports at the time stated was sparsely populated, and the spill posed no threats to public health. Public health during that era seemed to only involve settlers living in urban cities, not the native people who relied on the river system for their crops, livestock, and drinking water. In the early 1980s, the Navajo Nation purchased land near Sanders, Arizona, now known as Newlands. Newlands was set aside for Diné families displaced by coal mining in Black Mesa and Big Mountain. Tommy Rock, a Diné doctoral candidate at Northern Arizona University, discovered water sampled between 2003 and 2015 from wells near Sanders are contaminated with uranium way above the federal limit. Sanders is downstream from the Rio Perco River system. The new lands people were forcefully located from their ancestral homes and land kinship by coal mining only to be exposed to uranium contamination in the place they were sent to. This but one heartbreaking story in the narrative of, Amer of American exceptionalism and progress, the story of extractive capitalist ind industries around the world. The Diné people are not the only people poisoned by the fangs of capitalism. Our Apache and Pueblo relatives live downwind from the Trinity, Adam, bomb tests. The nuclear bomb threat upheld U.S. imperialism, <coughs> sacrificing native lives and lands in the process. If we believe the so-called U.S. will hold itself accountable for the crimes to the land and its people, I direct our attention again to the Black Hills, stolen from our Lakota relatives a sacred area that was promised to them in the Fort Laramie Treaty of 1868. In Article 6 of the U.S. Constitution, it plainly and simply states, treaties are the supreme law of the land. If land anywhere is valued for its extractive resources, such as the Black Hills to Palestine, the U.S. doesn't give a damn about its constitution. If the U.S. isn't accountable to its own laws, their so-called sacred texts, what choices do we have? The U.S. was never a moral authority. It only continues the settler colonial project in the name of capitalism globally. Oh, 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. 